Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Well, as we look at temperatures for the rest of the week, we are still looking at readings below average. Average high temperatures this time of the year, upper 80s for the most part, but I expect still a lot of clouds, a little sunshine, and even a few chances of rain along the way. Just to give you an idea, we're looking at upper 70s to lower 80s for a good part of the week. It may start to heat up next week here across the region, but our rain chances are there. They're not as high as they were a couple days ago, about a 30% chance on Wednesday, and we're going to continue that right on through the weekend. 30% chance is a pretty low chance right now. 70% chance it doesn't happen, but that upper level low that was uh, forecasted to be on top of us, the computer models now are kind of scooting it farther off to the east this week, which is good news because it takes all the clouds and the rain with it, and it also lowers our rain chances. So that's why you see 30% there across the board. Right now, very heavy rainfall, central, the eastern part of Oklahoma. Down here, we are monitoring some showers and some isolated storms. They have been severe in southwest Texas, but generally speaking, they've been moving to the east and having a very difficult time moving into the central part of the state. Matter of fact, our cap on top is very strong, and those showers and those isolated thunderstorms we had this morning really stabilized our atmosphere. It really worked it over. So anything that's trying to move our way right now is having a very difficult time. We do have some chances in overnight, but you will see they're not real high at this time. A few showers and storms just off right now to the west of the Abilene area. So here's how it looks. Our future cast at midnight, increasing clouds across the region. Maybe a few showers and isolated storms there south of Llano, south of the Burnett area. And as I put this into motion, you can see how they drift to our south. So chances are the best places that we'll see some rain overnight will be south of Temple, south of Colleen, around the Georgetown area. And it may clip over toward the uh, Brazos Valley by early tomorrow morning. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies and a few chances of rain. You can see them there out ahead of a front. We're not talking big chances and not everybody will see it, but there's that front moving through by late in the afternoon and early evening. Again, with some of the heat of the day, we may spark off some isolated showers, maybe a few thunderstorms down around the College Station area. But I really think Tuesday night, partly to mostly cloudy across our area and looking pretty quiet. As we start the day on Wednesday, temperatures will be down in the low 60s. On Wednesday, partly to mostly cloudy. We're looking at temperatures climbing uh, into the 80s once again. This may be a little generous there in the upper 80s. I definitely would say low to mid 80s for highs. A few spotty showers here and there, but you can see our chances only about 30% uh, as we go throughout the day on Wednesday. So again, much lower right now since that upper level system is getting out of here. Here's the forecast in more detail then for tonight, increasing clouds, just a 30% chance of a scattered shower. There could be a clap of thunder, but I think the best areas will be south of Colleen, south of the Temple area, winds out of the north at 5 to 10. And by the way, that 60 is running a little bit below average. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. There will be some sunshine from time to time, but again, more clouds than anything. A humid day, 78 degrees to high, and again, only a 40% chance of a few showers. Again, maybe a thunderstorm if it tries to pop up. And as we look ahead here at the uh, long-range forecast, we're going to keep temperatures, as you saw there earlier, in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And with that low pulling farther off to the east and faster than expected, our rain chances are only 30%. So they're not real high here as we go throughout the week. And that goes right into the weekend with nighttime low temperatures in the low to middle 60s. In Bryan and College Station, kind of the same story. Watch that system. Watch the cold front move through. It looks like highs will be running in the mid 80s for highs, those nighttime lows will be in the mid 60s along the way as well. If you would like to have an updated forecast, just go to our website or go to the App Store, download our news app. That is our Fox 44 news app. Just go to the App Store, it doesn't cost a thing. And you know what, Adam, it's nice to have one of these because it'll give you the updated forecast. We'll go in there manually sometimes and just update it. And again, our rain chances, some of the computer models were saying like 60, 70 percent chance this week. Emily and I lowered those down to about 30% because that's what we do back here. We work. <laughs>